everyone, this is Iris Knight Billy, the official Grey Witch, and I thought I'd do a tour of my travel altar. This is a box, a wooden box that I got at um, Hobby Lobby that I painted this beautiful indigo color. Um, I don't recommend painting with acrylics just because it makes it very sticky, but the damage is already done so I deal with it. Um, on top, I have put my um, crest or symbol that's the same on my um, Book of Shadows. You have the um, two horses for Epona, my mother goddess. You have the Celtic cross um, in the middle, well not the Celtic cross, but the cross in the middle for my maiden um, goddess uh, Bridget. And then you have the cauldron for my crone goddess Caradwin, and then the moon, crescent moon, for Night Billy, um, and then as well as the Neptune symbol, which is my ruling planet. Um, anyway, so opening this up, so we've got, I found these um, at almost kind of like one of those like hippie type shops at the mall where they had like tiny little short incense sticks and then they had these incense matches so um, it's also a match and then if you let it burn for a bit it'll burn some incense smoke so we've got cinnamon, patchouli, jasmine, um, frankincense, bayberry, and spice and then next See, I already kind of burnt one. Which I need to clean that out. Next, I got Sculpey Clay, um, which you can find at Hobby Lobby as well. And um, what you do is you can mold it however you want, and then when you bake it in the oven, it becomes hard. So I got gold and silver, silver for the mother, and then gold for the father so I made little candle holders and then I made a pentacle I made a goddess symbol and a god symbol and then I made a little cauldron or offering bowl as well as an incense burner. Which I can stick a little stick in there or leave it on the side and all that good stuff. So there's that. Putting things back where they go. Alright, so on this side I have this crystal wand which I um use as like my affame or my wand or my phallic symbol um, basically to help me direct energy it has um, the chakra crystals on it so I can use it for healing as well um, as far as the elements I have clear quartz to represent earth I have Jingly bells. Oops, I can, there we go. Jingly bells to clear away space and also to like call in the corners and represent air. I have a candle to represent fire. And then I have a seashell to represent water. I have a collection of stones here, just general stones to use and heal, to keep on hand. Um, I have an obsidian arrowhead, just because I felt like it should be in here. I don't really know why it's in here. Um, I just thought it would be good to have obsidian. It's very protective uh, stone, and arrowheads help direct energy. And then I have anointing oil in here as well. Just 
basic general anointing oil for common things. Click on that. back in a minute because like I said it sticks so it's kind of hard to get these out. Alrighty so I took out the little um, compartments and then underneath we have an altar cloth, black for protection and basic um, basic uh, altar cloth. You can use white. Um, a collection of herbs and little plastic baggies. Smurf petals, lavender, that sort of thing. Um, a lighter and some matches, um, a couple of tea light candles for works, whoops, no, and now it's going to live on the ground. Um, a couple of candles for God and Goddess, stay, and then finally a mini travel book of shadows, which I have not completed. There we go. But do you have like blessing page, um, title page, blessing, um, haven't completely finished the book and read, um, but mostly just prayers and correspondences and that sort of thing for anything I'd need for like ritual or spell work or anything like that while I'm traveling. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And then as far as an altar space, I just use the top of the box to place all my items. Um, so I laid the cloth over the box, set up, you know, like my pentacles, some crystals, my candles, my wand, my offering bowl, that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, it's all in one, and everything has like more than one purpose, you know what I mean? You don't need a lot to practice, but if you're going to have things, it takes up much less space if they have more than one use. Just like my bells. Yes, they represent air, but they also can call the quarters, um, clear energy, even though they're not very loud. Um, and that sort of thing, like my incense matches, it can be matches or they can be incense, that sort of thing. So lots of different, um, lots of different uses for different things. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I look forward to seeing any other travel altars that you guys have. And I will see you in the next video. Blessed be.